Hey South Naz family, Pastor Gretchen here to give you your midweek moment. I want you to think about one of your favorite places that you like to sit in at your house. Or maybe you're trying to think of someplace else that's not in your home as you've been spending more time at your house. So I want you to think about that special place that you enjoy sitting in uh, the most. Maybe you're sitting in that spot right now as you're watching this video. One of my favorite places that I love sitting in or looking out is our kitchen window overlooks two bird feeders that we have. We have a suet and then we have thistle seed. So if you haven't already noticed or can't tell, I love birds. I am a bird nerd, proudly I will call myself that. I love birds. Um, my mom even talks about a time where she would set my high chair in front of a window just so I could be able to look out the window and see the birds coming and eating at the bird feeder. And I love this season, this month, where the robins are singing and the cardinals have come to the feeders. And I even have a house wren that comes and she begins building her nest in the box that's made just for her. But there's one bird that I am not ever excited about seeing at my bird feeder. They're these annoying birds called house sparrows. You probably know them or a type of sparrow that's always outside of our window, chirping away, sitting on the fence. And they have made themselves super comfortable by building a nest right in the awning of our house. And they're always dive bombing us and all of those kinds of things. Now, being the bird lo lover that I am, I'll leave them be and I'll let them continue coming to the bird feeder and building a nest wherever they may be. But I do get this annoyed feeling when I see them chowing down on the bird seed that was meant for the pretty birds, the ones that are super rare and I'm hopeful of having come and visit my feeder. Now, I've always been fascinated with the many different types of birds that are all mentioned in the Bible. Not all of them are mentioned, but quite a few are mentioned in our Bibles. There was even a time when I was so determined to find all of the verses that a bird was mentioned that I would try to highlight that verse in my Bible just to see how many birds were mentioned. But you can find that there are different birds that are mentioned. Doves, eagles, lots and lots of quail, a rooster, a hen, vultures, and many, many other birds that are mentioned. And of course, the sparrow is mentioned in the Bible six verses to be exact where they're mentioned. So I begin to wonder if this bird is mentioned that many times in our Bible, what could I learn from this bird? This bird that I find to be super annoying. What was the idea of the writers to mention this bird in the scriptures that we read today? Luke 12 verses six and seven says this. What is the price of five sparrows? Two copper coins? Yet God does not forget a single one of them. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. I think these two verses are super simple. If God cares for that simple sparrow, not even forgetting a single one, how much more do you think he cares for you? While we're spending more and more time at home, or maybe we're working even longer hours than we normally would, we're preparing an online lesson for our students, we're wondering about what the week will hold and how we're gonna keep, keep up with the things going on at home. Maybe we're ordering our groceries online every week. We're reading a book to our kids or we're watching the news come across our screens. It's easy to think, does God really care about me? Now, I don't want you to misunderstand me to think that God is comparing us to a sparrow, but he is reminding us that he does care about that simple bird, the one that I find to be super annoying and not all that impressive, but he views us that we are even more valuable than that bird. Did you know that God values you? Not just cares about you and knows the numbers of hairs on your head as the verse says, but he takes pride in you and he thinks about you. His heart aches for the things that keep you up at night. 
He hears your prayers that are said and unsaid. He smiles when he sees the things that you have accomplished, big and small. God values you today, and I just wanted you to be reminded of that this morning. But I want to pray with you, and uh, we'll close this midweek moment. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for the person watching this YouTube video this morning, God. And God, as maybe they look out their window and they see that sparrow, they would be reminded that you care about that little bird, but you care about us even more. You care so much about us that you sent your son to die on the cross for us. That's how much you care and love us. God, I pray that you would meet this person that's watching this video in this time of wondering what's going to happen next, that you would just bring peace and comfort on their lives, God, and that they would remember that whatever they're doing throughout their day, whether it's laundry or dishes or feeding their family or working, Father, that you value what they are doing right here and right now. Thank you for valuing us and loving us so much. We love you for all that you do. Amen.